So what are some amazing ways to keep conversation going with a girl? I'm glad you asked because guess what? A lot of guys ask me this because most guys, listen, conversation just doesn't come easy to most guys. I call it the spaghetti effect. And I don't know why I call it the spaghetti effect. You know why I call, I'll tell you why I call it the spaghetti effect is because I watched Lady and the Tramp with the two little dogs and you know how they're like, um, they're sucking on the spaghetti at the same time. Well, in my little child mind, I saw that expanding. But you know how spaghetti is. It starts off straight and then it kind of unfolds. So it's the same thing with conversation. Like when you're talking to a woman and you start asking her questions, most of the time what a lot of people do who don't really do conversation well is they just drop it. So they'll ask a question like, hey, um, where? what's your favorite country to travel to? Oh, my favorite country to travel to is Italy. Now I'm just saying Italy because I'm about to leave to Italy. Oh, and I'm in Lisbon, Portugal right now. So uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm always traveling somewhere. So I like to tell you where I'm at in the world. Um, so what if she says it's Italy? A lot of guys or a lot of people who aren't good at conversation, not just guys, but they'll just drop it there and go, ah, oh, cool. And then there's just dead silence. So where the spaghetti comes in, effect comes into place, perfect when we're talking about Italia, uh, is, you know, when you ask that question, growing and expanding it, expanding the question, uh, you say, what is it? Uh, you have to tell me more. Like, what is it that you love about Italy? Well, I don't know. I just, I just find it beautiful. Okay. And so a lot of people will just stop right there because they don't want to make the person feel uncomfortable. Well, Erica, I don't want her to feel like I'm interrogating her. No, it's not an interrogation. So what you do from there is you go, okay, give me more than that. What is it that you find beautiful? Is it the architecture? Is it the fact that it's like a country of love? It's that Latin country of love. Is it the food? Is it the wine? Oh, and then it makes her like get conscious as to why she loves this place. Oh, well, I really love the wine. Really? what's your favorite wine? So when you start asking these other questions, like if she says art, then you know right then and there, like, oh, I need to take this woman on more art dates. Or if she says it's wine, I need to take her wine tasting. But this helps not only keep amazing conversation going on, but it also gives you insight into like what makes her tick, what makes her excited, what makes her come alive. And then you get to plan more dates around that so that the romance, the connection, the excitement of being with you continues to grow. So I really want you to get comfortable trying this spaghetti effect. I think most of us, when someone, when we ask a question, most of the time we don't realize that there's tons of opportunity in that question to expand on it, to ask more questions, to gain more insight. But because we don't have this skill, which I call the spaghetti effect, and we just drop it, that's what ends conversations. That's why be conversations become just kind of duds. They're no longer exciting for both people. It's just because I just let it sit there. She answered it. I just dropped it right there as opposed to just going, well, I'm curious. Remember the spaghetti effect works well when you are curious. I'm, and that's a great thing to say. I had a girlfriend. She was amazing at that. It was a good friend of mine. And she would always say, Erica, I'm curious. Can you tell me a little bit more about this? And because she said, I'm curious, it made me feel like she actually wanted to get to know me more. So remain curious, but also use the spaghetti effect. Don't be afraid to continue to ask her more questions. And whatever you do, don't just drop it on the ground. Once she answers it, don't just leave it on the ground. Think of it as a basketball where you got to keep the ball in the air. Think of it as spaghetti. You want to continue to expand upon her answers by asking more questions or even giving some of your own input of, yeah, I've been to Italy before. And did you go to Venezia? And did you go to Milano? You can expand on your own experiences. And when we have similar experiences, that's where true affinity is built. And that's where connection gets established. So